Greetings, members, one and all of the Salvation Nation. 2022 might be the year that one should consider stacking physical silver. Let's explore. Two thousand and twenty one has been a pretty crazy year in terms of silver's price performance, but even more so with regards to the premiums for physical silver. And we're gonna talk about that and other things based off of an article from the street dot com that references how to buy silver in two thousand and twenty two. For the sake of transparency, you know, this is not a very easy subject to talk about because one can make an argument on both sides of the fence about buying silver. And as you know, I hold the view that there are times when you should not buy, as well as times to buy. And 2022 might be a good year not to buy for a myriad of different reasons, especially with regards to the types of silver to purchase as opposed to not to buy, based off of premiums and price performance. We know that there are some rate hikes coming, and that could prove bearish for silver. And so it may be good to take a pause on buying until some of those rate hikes occur and how the market reacts to them. But in this environment, it's good to be open-minded about buying physical silver. And 2022 is just right around the corner. You may be watching this at the very beginning of 2022, and but we know those rate hikes aren't coming in f for a while silver was disappointing in 2022 <clears throat> or in 2021 the spot price down about 13.5 percent to date and that's in an inflationary environment there evidently is still investor demand for physical silver especially when the premiums for constitutional silver which is non-numismatic silver coins minted in 1964 and earlier. The spot price of silver hovers around $23 an ounce. A $100 bag, which face value contains about 71.5 ounces, uh, has about a would cost you about $2,100. That equates to about $29.37 an ounce which is about 29% premium to spot price. So why would investors pay that much of a premium? <clears throat> it's due to the desire to hold the actual metal as opposed to a paper version. And it's a substantial premium. It pales in comparison to what we saw at the outset of the pandemic and even earlier when the silver squeeze movement started earlier this year. The bottom line, silver should not be considered an investment but rather a hedge against economic uncertainty. And that uncertainty can uh, include a range of issues. And inflation would be one of them, but it's not performing as that hedge against inflation yet. As a, a commenter on one of my recent videos says that usually silver's performance comes on the rear end of, of the inflationary pressures. There will be plenty of uncertainty like what we saw in 2021 occur next year in 2022. The extent and duration of inflation being one of the contributors. It appears as though this uncertainty could create a good setup for silver in 2022. One interesting way to get exposure to silver is to buy physical silver bullion. And one thing not to buy in 2022 if we are if we are going to continue to see what we have witnessed in 2021 is to not buy these American Silver Eagles because American Silver Eagles have been proven to be not only the most popular silver bullion coin in the world but because of their popularity their price has gone up through the roof in terms of premiums for new silver bullion so instead it is wise to consider other options that are far cheaper and those premiums could actually come down if, if uh, in 2021 
such as, you know, Somali elephants, such as you see here. Or maybe you might consider even cheaper bullion versions, such as the Krugerrands, which were started, minted around um, 2018 as a bullion coin. Um, those coins have proven to be fairly popular and very low premium. One of the lowest premium bullion coins that one might consider to buy um, in this environment would be the kangaroos. Although they obviously are very kind of low quality comparatively to others. And as you can see, they milk spot very easily. And they're made by the Perth Mint, but they spit these things out. Very low premium, very high milk spot ratio. The premium to milk spot ratio is quite high. Now, one of the best quality coins I think you can buy uh, in 2022, um, physical uh, silver to purchase with lower premiums, is going to be the Britannia. It is uh, proven to be very high grade, high security features, and um, less likely to have any issues. Although milk spotting is troublesome for the Britannias as well. But I don't see them on quite as much these days as they have been in the past. Nonetheless, physical silver is something that um, should be considered in 2022 um, if you can buy it for as low premium as possible. The key is to find recognizable government-issued bullion coins um, to buy uh, for the lowest premium possible. You can shop around. The technology is there to be able to find low premium silver. Uh, find bullion prices is one a way to do it. There's also applications that you can download that uh, provide ways to be able to um, find the lowest price possible. Specials come across your email inbox from bullion dealers around as well. That's something to consider to find low premium bullion coins. And, and um, one interesting way to get exposure to silver, if you're not buying the physical, is to get something that is backed by the physical. And the best way to do that would be the spot, Sprott Physical Silver Trust, the PSLV. Each unit of PSLV, one would think, would represent one ounce of physical silver. It doesn't. It's 0.3567 ounces of silver. And the silver bars that fully back the trust are stored at the Royal Canadian Mint. So that gives you a level of confidence if you're going to buy the paper version, the Spot Physical Silver Trust. And um, so there you go. And so it trades usually at around a 3% discount to net asset value. And so that is one way to do it. While owning PSLV is not the same as owning physical metal that you can hold in your hand right now, there is an interesting kicker. Unit holders can redeem their shares for silver bars. It can be done. But the problem is that the minimum redemption is for 10. Count them, that's right, 10 1,000 ounce bars. That's 10,000 ounces. You got to buy 10,000 ounces, which would equate to about 28,035 shares of PSLV. So redemption is essentially off the table. In reality, there's no way really to unless you're gonna, you can you can buy that much silver at one time or through a course of time, and you got to get them in 1,000 ounce bars, which are very difficult to liquidate, by the way, um, at your local coin shop. That's why the premiums are worth it to get in a, li in a liquid form of silver such as the Britannia or the Krugerrand or the Kangaroo or the Elephant or the Maple Leaf even. The Canadian Maple Leaf is another great way. Here's an older Maple Leaf that I've got in the collection here. And just kind of hold around. But the Maple Leaf is another great way to be able to stack physical silver. Very high quality and much less prone to milk spotting for the Canadian maple leaf. Um, <clears throat> but uh, it is an interesting way to obtain silver exposure without buying the physical metal and the PSLV, but you will have to cash out with cash unless you want to get 28,035 shares of the PSLV. So there you have it. So ways to consider uh, buying physical silver in 2022. I would encourage you to stack in 2022 and using the methods I described, but you have to do it in an intelligent and smart way. 
it may be good to wait until the um, until what I talked about earlier happens. In other words, the the uh, the um, the rate hikes occur. And usually, after a rate hike, at least in the short term, precious metals should go down, providing a buying opportunity. Um, you just have to shop for the premiums. I feel like though that as the year goes on, as they do more of these rate hikes, especially depending on how the market responds to the rate hikes, we could actually see silver go up. So keep that in mind too. Rate hikes does not necessarily automatically mean the silver will go down. I think that will be the case for the first rate hike, especially perhaps for the second rate hike, but by and large by the third rate hike, we'll probably see it move the other way and precious metals go up. So there you have it. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.